Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, today I'm sharing a recipe that is one of the most popular recipes on my website, and it is inspired by Jamie Eason. I actually shared it a few years back, but I realized that I never put it into a video. So today, I'm gonna give you the step-by-step. -step. For this quick bite, I'm making my clean and delicious turkey and veggie meatloaf muffins. So I've got my oven preheating at 375 degrees and I'm gonna start by sauteing my vegetables. I've got a medium uh, saute pan that I'm gonna heat up over a medium high heat and into this pan goes one cup of finely diced onion. I'm using a red onion, but you can use any onion that you have in the house. Two finely diced celery stalks. Then I've got one red bell pepper, finely diced as well. Again, use any color pepper you have. If you don't have a pepper, use some carrots. Just make it work for you. And then two cloves of finely diced garlic. Give it a little bit of salt, pinch of black pepper, and then I'll give it a mix. And I'm just gonna let these cook for five, six minutes until that raw edge starts to come off of the veggies. And you'll notice I didn't even use any oil in the pan, guys, because once this starts to go, the water comes out of the veggies and you just don't need the oil. So this is looking good. So from here, what I do is I add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and a half a cup of a low sodium organic chicken broth. Now this is actually a tip that I got from a reader at Clean and Delicious, Adriana L. And the idea here is whenever you work with ground turkey or ground chicken, it has a tendency to get very dry. So by adding the extra liquid to my vegetables, it's gonna help to keep those turkey meatloaf muffins nice and moist. So I'm just gonna let this cook a couple more minutes until the liquid is heated through, and then we're gonna shut it off and assemble these muffins. Okay, so what I have over here is my ground turkey. I have one and a half pounds of white meat ground turkey, and then I have a half a pound of dark meat ground turkey. Now, like I mentioned before, the white meat tends to get really dry, so by adding in a little bit of dark meat, it helps to keep the muffins nice and moist. But if you wanted to keep your muffins extra lean, you could do all white meat, and if you want them to be a little bit richer, you could do all dark meat. You can play around with the ratios. You wanna take this base and then make the recipe work for you and your personal goals. Now, to my ground turkey, I'm adding six egg whites, which is a half a cup, one cup of quick rolled oats. You could also do an oat flour here if you had it. Then I have two teaspoons of ground cumin, which is nice and smoky, but it's not spicy. And then I have one teaspoon of a ground chipotle seasoning. So this is smoky and spicy. Now, if you don't like the spicy, just do three teaspoons, which is a tablespoon of the cumin, and you can leave the chipotle out all together. On the flip side, if you can't find the chipotle and you want the heat, give it a good squish of sriracha. That'll do the job. And then I've got one more tablespoon of garlic powder. So I'm doubling up on the garlic. We did fresh garlic and a little garlic powder. Then I'm gonna take all of those veggies with the broth and the Worcestershire sauce and pour that right on top. Okay, and that broth is gonna help keep these nice and moist. Then we're just gonna mix this together until I have everything well combined. And the easiest way to do this is with your hands. Now this is a great dish to add to your weekend meal prep because this way you have yourself a veggie and protein packed snack ready to go once the week gets really busy and starts rolling. And I've never personally tried it myself, but I've had a few people write to me and tell me that they also work really well in the freezer. So it is a great meal to make ahead. So once I've got the meat and the veggies really mixed together, then what I'm gonna do is grab about a half a cup of the mixture and just roll it into a ball in my hands. And over here, I have a 12 cup muffin pan that I lightly spray down with a little bit of coconut oil so nothing sticks. And once my ball is ready to go, I'm just gonna drop it right into the muffin pan. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I fill up the pan. This recipe is gonna give you exactly 12 muffins. And guys, if you don't have a muffin tin, it's really not that big of a deal. You could just roll these into balls and then pop them onto a rimmed baking sheet. That would totally work in a pinch. Okay, once you've got them all done and ready to go, you're gonna pop this into your 375 degree oven for 20, 25 minutes until they are cooked through and the top should have a nice light golden brown. Now these look great. You can see that they're nice and set up and they have a lightly golden brown color over the top. So what I like to do is let them cool to room temperature and then I store them in an airtight container just like this over here. 
then I have them in the fridge ready to go all week long. And some of my favorite ways to eat them are to take one and crumble it up on top of a nice big salad for a little extra protein. My kids love it when I slice them up and then top them with a little bit of marinara sauce and some nice melted mozzarella cheese. And then sometimes I'll simply just take a couple muffins, put it in a container with a handful of raw veggies and a big dollop of hummus, and I have a really quick and convenient, delicious lunch or snack that I can take with me on the go and feel really good about eating. Now I'm curious, have you ever made meatloaf muffins before? And if you have, what do you like to do with them? Come on down to the comments below and tell me all about it. And if you guys wanna print this recipe, you can do that right on cleananddelicious.com. And if you're looking for more inspiration throughout your week, then make sure you follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Pinterest. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Hey guys, it's Danny. Now today I want to wait. Let me say. Let me say. Hey guys, it's Danny. Now today I want to share one of share a recipe that is one of the most popular. One of the. One of the top three recipes on my website. One of the most popular. But hey guys, it's Danny from the top. Hey guys, it's Danny from the top. What am I saying? Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I want to share the most popular searched stuff from the top. Here we go. One, two.